Investigators say 17 men were shot and buried in this mass grave in the town of Berbera nearly 30 years ago. They were allegedly killed by troops loyal to Somali dictator Siad Bari during a campaign that killed about 50,000 people, mostly from the Isak clan. Somali's government battled rebels from Somaliland, which declared independence after the Bari regime collapsed in 1991. Somaliland remains unrecognized internationally. Now, Somaliland's War Crimes Investigations Commission and an international forensics team are opening the old graves to gather evidence. Every person has the right to be buried in his religious uh, method. So we are just taking out these bodies and we are burying them separately after uh, cleaning and uh, praying on them. The mass grave in Berbera is the 11th the local war crimes commission has opened in the last five years. There are many more. The commission says this was a genocide, though that term is disputed. The forensic investigators attempt to identify the remains and establish probable cause of death. Mostly of the case is gunshot wound in the head or, or in the thoracic area. If we see like a gunshot wound in the head, we know that this person don't die in a natural way. With that kind of proof, we can show in the court a proof that this person was murdered. But the exhumations are divisive. The commission did not consult victims' relatives about the process first, so families tried to block the opening of this grave. Kadra Mohamed Abdi said she wants her father's killer found and jailed, but she was against removing the body. It's also painful. You know, someone you forgot 25 years ago, and then when we see the process, it's like it's, it, it's new to us. All the time, you know, we are crying because we remember what happened at that, that time. We told them not to, to, to dig. But the, the, the decision is not our, our, our hand. Commissioner Lique dismissed the family's concerns. He said proving the atrocities took place is of national importance. Actually for them it's nothing, but it is for us to prove that this genocide has occurred by the regime of Siad Barre. Digging up the past brings no easy answers. Jason Patinkin for VOA News, Berbera.